we are really interested in legged locomotion. So we're doing research in legged robotics, and we really want to understand how this works. We are a team of eight researchers, and uh, we are a very diverse team. We have a background in mechanics and mechatronics, in control and electronics, but we also have researchers from biology and from physics. So we're looking at animals, and we're looking at humans with two legs, and we're looking at animals with four legs. And what we really want to understand is what is behind legged locomotion. So we want to understand the biomechanics and the neurocontrol. And as the new thing, as the novel approach, we are using robots to understand legged locomotion. So on the one side, we try to understand why animals move the way they do, why they've evolved to have certain morphology. And by understanding these principles uh, that stay behind nature, it helps us understand how we can build better machines. So better robots that can be more versatile, more adaptable, more efficient. Research in biology has been conducted to understand bipedal and quadrupedal locomotion over a long, long time. Biologists, they use very advanced tools, let's say high-speed cameras or very precise force plates. This allows them to quantify locomotion. On the other side, what is missing in this research is the understanding of what is happening inside. We can currently not look inside the animal while it's running or while it's locomoting. Here, our interest and our expertise gives us the possibility to build robots. So we can basically create a new tool which allows us to look inside locomotion, like at locomotion mechanics, but also like at locomotion control. Originally, I'm a neuroscientist and my doctoral work has been to try to understand the agility of animals and humans by looking at, for example, how it is that we manage to stand in challenging balance conditions or how it is that we manage to move around. I've come to the idea that when we practice and improve, what happens is that we find the right set of body mechanical properties that allows us to perform this task. And once we have this right set of body mechanical properties, then performance simply improves. So this is something that requires learning and the reason I've joined the group here at the Max Planck Institute is to try to understand this learning process. So develop models of how we learn to do this and test them on robots and see if they can improve their balance and their walking. My focus is on understanding how a different mechanical design influences how easy it is to learn how to move. So for example, if you're learning how to ride a bicycle, you don't want to start with a racing bike or a road bike, even though that's the best possible bike you could have. But you want to start with something simpler, like a simple bike with training wheels. Uh, because even though you can't go quite as fast, it'll be a lot easier to learn on, it's a lot more stable. And so you can learn more quickly. So I'm trying to understand how to put this intuitively very simple concept into math so we can actually generalize this to more types of systems. One group of people who has very often balance problems is the elderly people. And here we see the response of an elderly person who has balance problems in their daily lives. And using this kind of protocol we can measure their balance in a laboratory context. And so likewise, what I would like to do here at the Dynamic Locomotion Group is to try to see if we can teach the robots to adjust their posture and if that will improve their balance performance to perturbations. So we are identifying currently the components in biomechanics and we are identifying the components in neurocontrol and we are testing those ones in the robotic system. These tests allow us to give this data back to biologists and have a circle of communication of research which ideally brings up to a next level of understanding. And ideally I would like to have biologists looking at us and our, our research and saying, yes, this gives me new questions, this gives me the ability to look at the animal locomotion again and look more precisely at different points. So we really want to create new research questions which are more defined to understand the interplay between neurocontrol and biomechanics.